Let's talk about what it is like to be an empath. If you're like me, when you kind of came upon this awareness of being an empath, that you experience other people's emotions and thoughts as though they are your own. Not just that you have a strong reactivity to things that are going on, but you genuinely have emotions and thoughts that are not even yours. If you're like me, when you discovered that, then you may have started looking around on the internet about it and found some people talking about how some kind of message of it being weak, a weakness, or so very special and precious that there isn't a way for you to really properly function in this world. At least that's the message that I received, whether text or subtext of what people would say. But I want to tell you that your empathic nature in its proper function is a strength and actually a healing ability. Now, let me introduce myself. If we haven't met before, my name is Trisha Carr. I am an intuitive, I'm a channel, I'm a spiritual teacher and a transpersonal hypnotherapist, and I am an empath. I'm also a reflector. My human design is reflector. So I really know what it means to have open centers, open energy centers, if you're familiar with human design, because all of my centers are open and I know what it feels like to be amplifying energies from outside, to be taking in and feeling energies as though they are my own. And I know how it goes wrong and I know how it goes right, not only from my own healing journey, but from also the hundreds possibly thousands, I think it may be thousands of clients and students that I have guided in this process of becoming an empowered empath. Now, if you want to learn more about my own personal journey, just check the links somewhere on this page and you'll find a way to be able to read my story about moving through true victimhood into the strength of a life that is powered by love, compassion, and yes, my sensitivity. But I want to talk about you a little bit more. You see, if you are an empath, if you have that sensitivity, this is a healing ability and it is an awareness that is different than what some other people have, about 50% of the population. And the thing about this kind of awareness, this sensitivity or this healing ability or psychic ability, some would consider it, it's not one that you can turn off. You really cannot turn off being an empath. You can repress it and then possibly react and maybe hurt yourself or others. Or you can just implode and make yourself ill and really not have yourself functioning well with others. It isn't something you can turn off, but it is something that you can have function properly and be a superpower even as it is a strength and a superpower in its proper function. And in our modern society, the sensitive nature is under so much attack. And I don't say that as it's somebody's fault, any individual's fault at all. It's just simply how our culture has developed up to now. And empaths really need now more than ever to develop tools and to nurture their sensitive nature into the strength that it is. And I don't mean even just once, it is a continual process. It is something that we have to revisit many times in our journey and on our mission because it is this vulnerability that is also incredibly powerful. And I would say that also now more than ever, we need empaths to be in their ability to be the sensitive, strong person that they are and to be that awareness in our world. So this course, Empowered Empath, is designed for anyone who is highly sensitive, who is empathic, and it is also highly recommended for anyone whose human design chart reveals that they have an open or undefined emotional solar plexus. The education, the techniques, and the healing meditative experiences will attune you to your higher functioning as that empowered empath. Now, I want to highlight that much of this has to do with the subconscious work that I provide. I am a transpersonal hypnotherapist. I have degrees in clinical hypnotherapy and in mind-body psychology. And I know that the way that we shift anything in our mind, body, spirit, and in our lives is to work on the subconscious level. Now, the subconscious level is what gives way to the spiritual level. And so that is what I employ in everything that I do, in the education, in the techniques that I teach, and in the meditations that I offer. 
So I really invite you to check this out because you can also revisit the content throughout the year that you have access to it. And this will act as though watering a garden to continually to nurture it into its health, vitality, and its beauty and strength. And my journey is a testament to how incredibly different a life can be when you have healed and strengthened your empathic nature. So if you want to check out my story, again, you can find a link on this page. And I also want to let you know that I have kept this program as affordable as I possibly can afford myself because I know what it's like to be in that part of the journey where you really need some help, you need some tools, you need some guidance, you need some nurturing, you need a container where you are seen, understood, and able to be valued into the place that is true for you. And so I've made it affordable and I hope that you can appreciate that. Give yourself permission to come home to the true strength of yourself as an empath. So that's what I have for you, this invitation with my heart so full of the appreciation that I have for you. Thanks for shining your light on our beautiful world. We need you.